Okay. So Thomas was a big hit at the train show this year. And um, now, a few years back, I picked up Emily. Let me turn up the light here. Emily is DC. And there's not a whole lot of room in the body for a decoder. But I found a Digitrax DZ126. Look how small that is. So I'm going to install it in Emily. So for our next season show, or if we do something in the public, I'll have Emily to run as well as Thomas. All right, I'll be back to show you progress. All right. So, I got the shell off. This is not a particularly uh, powerful locomotive. Uh, but there's not a whole lot of room within the shell uh, because of this uh, uh, metal chassis weight. Motor's very small. Uh, there's the contacts there. Um, the big wheel is a drive wheel, and this set of wheels is a drive wheel. Is drive wheels, so it's a f basically a two four two. Well, I guess it's something like that anyway. Uh, for power anyway. Um, so to get the decoder installed, I'm thinking I'm going to need to place it somewhere here in the front. Probably. It'll probably go under. <laughs> Look at Emily. She's got a little bit of a problem. Somebody knocked her in the head there. Uh, it'll probably go right under her head, uh, kind of behind, under her eyes, and the eye mechanism that uh, makes her eyes move. That's pretty much where this the decoder will fit. There's a little notch there. I'm thinking that's where it's going to end up going. Uh, so, yeah, i got to feed some wires around to get the track power uh, to the decoder and then from the decoder to the motor and uh, make sure that the motor is isolated from any of the metal parts which I think is pretty easy to do since since the motor contacts are in the back there anyway uh, I'm going to uh, start installing and also grease it all up and make sure I have proper contacts. I'm pretty sure one of the contacts isn't touching the wheels. So anyway, I'll uh, when I get things installed, I'll be back. So here's an update on my Emily DCC install. I managed to take everything apart, um, which was kind of interesting. But I thought I may have taken it apart too much. And of course, I'd like to lube up the gears and, and whatnot anyway. But, what I intend to do, I've changed my mind on where I'm going to put the decoder. I was going to place the decoder somewhere here. Uh, and do the install and route the wires. And I got that from a video or a blog or something from someone. But with further exploration this little PCB board was mounted in there and that decoder should just about fit there so I'm going to make that decoder fit in there and then I route my black and red wires to the track power and my gray and orange to my motor and it'll be all neat and tidy and not very invasive there's no cutting or drilling or anything like that which is awesome so um, that being said I'm gonna go ahead and desolder and solder things up loop it up and put it all back together I had a little story here when I was taking the frame apart 
and getting this portion, this is the two halves with the motor in the middle, this comes off of this. Uh, when I took this off of the base with the wheels, you see there, see those, these things here? Well, as you can see, uh, there's a brass type uh, spring, and I made a homemade spring because the, when the wheel popped off, a spring went boing, and I lost it. And I checked all over my floor, all over my desk, cleaned my desk a bit, couldn't find it. As I was sitting down here doing the final dismantle and figuring this P PCB where the DCC decoder is going to go, I got to thinking. The wheel fell off here, and that weight came out, and the spring disappeared. I had my keyboard on my docking station. It must be in here somewhere. I even banged this out and didn't find anything. So, a last ditch effort, I just leaned forward, and lo and behold, there's the spring. I didn't even move it. It's right there. It's been there the whole time. Anyway, I have some homemade springs made <laughs> for fun. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, decoder and I'll do a quick update before I assemble everything to show how it fit. Toodaloo. Alright, so far I'm quite pleased with the way this install is going now that I have all of the parts back. So I started assembling, I got the bottom part of the chassis on, all the wheels installed with the proper springs and weights. And I have the, uh, the upper part of the chassis, the weight and the gearbox, all assembled with <clears throat> the decoder hardwired in. And the PCB, uh, this board is now not a part of it. <clears throat> so, now I've just got to basically align things up, get this in there and uh, get the wiring all tucked into that little pocket and then put her all back together. So we'll uh, go from there. All right, so I'm, I got the chassis all assembled and I just tested it on my test track. Uh, the locomotive is light. Um, maybe my track is relatively dirty for the pickups on the tires. But uh, all in all, uh, it's running a lot quieter uh, since it's all looped up and put together tight. Uh, just to show you, uh, that's where I was intending to put the decoder. And I got that information from another video or blog or something. But after taking that PCB out, uh, there is the wires from the motor. And right here under the motor is that uh, uh, DZ126 decoder with the four wires attached and I actually left some wire on the decoder for the white, yellow and blue leads. So if I ever decide to repurpose that decoder uh, I, I, have, uh, I can splice into it. Or if I ever want to add lighting to Emily here. I can always uh, route the wire accordingly and maybe put a front light on it or something. So anyway, I'm going to put the shell back on, uh, give it one more test, and I'll I'll uh, show you on my test track. I'll clean my track and, and whatnot to see if I can get this to improve. But I, it, uh, the locomotive, I mean, it has a little weight to it, but uh, for some reason it just seems to... Uh, maybe not have enough weight to get the proper contact to the uh, to the track. I'll check gauge uh, just in case, but I, I'm sure it's fine. So I got to assemble the uh, the wiggly eyes and put the shell on, and off I go. I'll be back. All right. So Emily is assembled. So. Let's uh, turn on some trash power and select the locomotive and see how she runs. Not too bad. Wow. 
Looks like the center wheel of the tender is not rolling. I'll have to uh, see what the problem is there, but it's actually operating better than uh, its initial test. And then the eyes are moving and all of that. So I'm very pleased with how she's operating here. I will tweak up the uh, CV so there's uh, some semi-prototypical movement with respect to start up and slow down. But all in all, I'm very happy with this install. Hope it, hopefully it was informative and uh, good luck. Thank you for watching.